play royalty free music. Okay, Darren. Challenge accepted. Only there's one big problem. I have not grown zucchini this year. Hey Google, Yet. volume 100%. I can still plant in January where I live, um, but um, I just need to correct you on a couple of things. And also in the spirit of Shed Wars, even though I haven't grown anything to weigh, um, I'm going to offer some hot tips on zucchini and even throw in for your benefit, Darren, some uh, gratuitous in Mrs. Bobbitt's shots. So, zucchini were developed from uh, marrow. They're all part of the same family. And so your thing about, uh, well, you can't show a squash, no, it is a squash in its own way. So we'll just correct you on that one. Um, and the thing about the largest, heaviest zucchini, eh, that is problematic in itself because as John from Willet Grow will tell you, um, the smaller is better. Um, anyway, going to run out of time shortly, um, but I've got some tips coming up, so in the spirit of Shed Wars, for people that want to grow zucchini, they're super easy and uh, uh, well worth the effort because they are so productive. Um, what else can I tell you? Um, Easily treated with a teaspoon of bicarb in uh, half a litre or a litre of water and sprayed on the leaves, and also avoid watering from above and try to float in the gut. Um, the tips are coming up shortly, and I will um, add to those. Uh, If you're not sure, just get out there and grow something. Tip one, prepare your soil with well-rotted manure. They're heavy feeders. They like good, rich soil. You can plant in starter pots in your windowsill or so direct. Give them plenty of water two to three times a week, but ground water, don't overhead water. You might have to hand pollinate. And the important bit is at five weeks, um, check them. They grow about an inch a day uh, and harvest it between five and eight inches in size. Anything longer than that and they start to become bitter and that can cause toxic squash syndrome which is uh, a bit of a gut ache and um, that can lead to being a pain in the ass. Pardon the language. Anyway, happy Shed Wars everyone. Stay safe.